It's you! The Grey Warden! Andraste is mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Dark Swan arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. By now, yes, they'd have reached the castle walls. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again.
You're here. Thank goodness. They are both inside with Riordan of the Grey Wardens, who arrived this morning, just ahead of the Darkspawn. I was told he has urgent news and to send out patrols to watch for your arrival. Then we were attacked. I should take you to the hall right away, my lord. They'll be waiting for you there. It's a relief to see you in hand, and you as well, Loghain. Yes, what a pleasure to see you again. The Darkspawn that attacked Threadcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. How certain are we that this is good information? I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. Word has been sent, but they need more than warning. They need our armies. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. And we won't be able to reach Denerim within two days. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. Perhaps not. But what is important is that we know where the Archdemon will be. If we do not defeat the Archdemon, it will not matter if Denerim is saved or the Horde defeated. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march. And hope the army collected here gives you the chance you need. Arleman, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak, Your Majesty. Then give the order. The longer we delay, the longer Denerim will be at the mercy of the Horde. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. Excellent. Then if you and Loghain could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men or haven't they? They're stalling, which is as good as a no. House Claret's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally they are pleading the need for self-defense. Huh. Find time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Huh. Evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the dark spawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Resting? Who can rest after the march we had just getting here? You tall races have it so easy. That and we're kept up thinking about the coming battle. Are things truly that desperate? Do we stand a chance of losing? Well, there's a reason to get drunk if ever I heard one. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden. And good fortune on the field of battle.
Let's see what this Riordan has to say. You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. It is indeed. I, for one, am most intrigued to hear this. So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me, have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. The Grey Warden that kills the Archdemon perishes. Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. We keep it secret for the same reason the Joining is kept secret. Who would become a Grey Warden if they knew the end that might await them? And yet, there must be Grey Wardens. Without us, there is no hope. In Blight's past, when the time came, the eldest of the Grey Wardens would decide which amongst them would take that final blow. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest, and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow, and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. Then this will be dealt with soon. One way or the other. So it will. Let us hope it ends for the better. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. I did not come here to speak of sentimental things. I came here to speak with you. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I know a great many things. How I know is not quite as important as what I am offering you, however. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. You are a wielder of magic. Surely the mere mention of it does not stir in you the same ignorant fear that it does in others. What I speak of is old magic, a ritual from a time long before the Circle of Magi was ever created. Some might call it blood magic, but that is but a name. There is far more to fear in this world than names. From Flemeth, of course. I have known about it for some time. I did. Would you have believed me if I had been the one to tell you? I have my doubts. What I propose is this. Lay with me, here tonight, and from our joining, a child will be conceived. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. 
At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Think about what I offer you. The chance to avoid death. Or better yet, the chance to slay the Archdemon and live as a hero. No Grey Warden has ever done this. In return, I conceive a child. One who will be born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. It's why I was sent with you by my mother. It's why she saved your life to begin with. Caring for you was not part of the plan. But I cannot let what I feel interfere with what I must do. This is important to me. The fact that it may save your life makes me all the more determined to see it done. Please, do not cloud the issue. If you feel anything for me, then accept that it will make what we must do that much easier. After the Archdemon has been slain? No. No, you will never see me again. Refuse my offer, however, and I leave now. This is simply how it must be. I do not know it will work. I do, however, have every confidence in my mother's magic. And so should you. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. As you wish. Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. I do not wish to tell you. The child will represent freedom, for an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to respect that from which it came. Beyond that, you need know nothing else. No, you never will. This is all I ask in return for freeing you from the burden the Grey Wardens have placed upon you. Then you have decided? Consider the possibility that Riordan may not be there to make the final blow as he plans. What then? Do you run away? Do you let Loghain take the blow instead? Allow him to die a hero and overshadow you? And what if he does not make it to the Archdemon? I am glad to make this offer to you after all we have meant to each other. Certainly the act of laying together is not such a burden. A wise decision. Come to me then, and we shall make this last night together something to remember. <laughs>